good morning. Today is Tuesday, January 3rd, 2022, and it is day number 360 in my fasting journey, and it is day number three in my exercise journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 118.2 pounds, and this morning, I am at 117.4 pounds. So I have lost eight tenths of a pound since yesterday and a total of 101.6 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. So after 90 plus rounds of rolling 72s, I have transitioned to rolling 48s and I am in round number one of my rolling 48s and I've surpassed the 48 hour mark by quite a bit. I am 60 hours in. And um, I could have had a refeed yesterday evening, but I decided to wait until this morning so I can get my refeeds back to mornings. And so as soon as I post, you know, this morning's video, I am going to have my meal because I am not feeling all that great. Um, walking, you know, 20,000 steps a day and doing Calinetics, um every day um, has taken a lot out of me and I'm just really um, feeling very hungry and I you know have a little bit of a dip in my energy and so I need today's refeed um, sooner rather than later. I'm gonna have my standard go-to refeed which is ground beef but instead of half a pound of ground beef I'm actually gonna make myself a full pound of ground beef um, because you know I've been extra hungry and I don't know if this is a situation where my eyes are bigger than my stomach but I kind of like feel like I um, need a little bit more than half a pound of ground beef for my meal today and so if I can't eat all my food that's fine um, I just want to make sure that I have enough and so a pound of ground beef is 1,152 calories and I'll cook that in two tablespoons of Epic Brands beef tallow, which is 260 calories. And I'm not really gonna do anything special to the ground beef, just salt and brag seasoning, which consists of 24 different herbs and spices. And um, that'll be my refeed today. It's 1,312 calories total and zero net carbs. And so I'll also take Optimal Carnivore's grass-fed beef organ complex and their liver and ancestral supplements bone marrow. But anyways, um, an update on my exercise journey. So um, yesterday I mentioned that I had an issue with my foot that it really hurt. And um, you know, um, yesterday I got on the whole body vibration machine for one session and that kind of like uh, shook the uh, pain out basically. And so I didn't have any issues with my foot yesterday. But this morning I am feeling very sore like all over. And I know this is the calinetics that is doing this, but it's a you know good kind of sore, the kind of sore where I feel like I'm working muscles that I haven't worked in a really long time. And um, I got my 20,000 steps in. It's 20,122 steps to be exact. And um, I got my very last step in at 1146 yesterday evening. And I wasn't, you know, up late just to get my steps in. I would have been up regardless of whether I was, you know, walking or um, not. But um, it just so happened that I kind of like squandered a lot of my time earlier yesterday because I didn't have to go to work. And so I was doing a lot of things that I um, kind of like love and enjoy. And um, as a result of squandering my time, I found that I had to kind of like hustle in the evening to get my you know steps in. And so um, today is kind of like going to be different. I have to, you know, go to work today. So I don't know how I'm going to get 20,000 steps in. I'm going to try to get some steps in, you know, this morning. I can walk back and forth in the kitchen while the ground beef is cooking. And I'll try to, you know, do some walking at work. And so I'm going to try, you know, during my lunch hour to, you know, um, walk the entire hour to get some steps in. And then when I come home, I'll, you know, get straight to, you know, walking. And so we'll see how that goes. And so um, I will definitely let you know tomorrow. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about how on this fasting and weight loss journey, there are no, you know, magical like numbers. And so basically there is no like special like number of days that you need to achieve, you know, in terms of fasting. And so at the beginning of last year, I went on a 21 day water fast and there's nothing special about the 21 days. Um, it's just, you know, it was three full weeks. So it's easy to measure. And then when I got to the 21 day mark, I decided to extend my fast out and make it a 40 day water fast. And once again, there wasn't anything really special about 40 days. I chose 40 days though, because you know, there's something biblical about it. And so um, I was obsessed to getting to that, you know, magic number that 40 days. 
and that I didn't really um, listen to my body and I pushed myself a little bit too far and I was basically on the verge of hurting myself if I um, went any further with that fast and I really should have ended that fast a lot earlier but I was just obsessed with getting to the 40 day mark for whatever reason. And so, you know, moving on, there is no, you know, special number of hours that you need to fast. The 72 hour fast is no special than, you know, the 16 hour intermittent fast. Um, you know, fasting is good for our bodies and whatever you're able to do um, in terms of, you know, your fasting hours, that's, you know, um, you know, you're doing a good thing for your body. And so you don't need to get to the 72 hour mark if you're not there yet. Um, you don't need to force yourself to get there and you don't need to, you know, feel um, frustrated with yourself if you're not at a point where you're able to get to the 72 hour mark. Just whatever you can do um, is, you know, you're done good. And so if you can do 16 hours, that's, you know, still, you know, pretty amazing. And so don't, you know, be so hard on yourself in terms of, you know, having to get to the 72 hour mark. And, you know, if you can't do 72 hours, neither can I. I can't do 72 hours anymore. And I, for that matter, I can't really do 48 hours. I'm probably going to have to drop down even further with my, you know, um, fasting hours. And so you just have to listen to your body and see what your body is telling you. Um, don't try to push yourself just because you need to get to this magic number. And so... Um, in terms of, you know, weight, there is no magic number um, in terms of weight. Um, you're, you know, the best weight for you is, you know, the weight that um, your body, you know, says is the best weight for you and not what you say is the best weight. And so basically, you know, um, since day number one of my fasting journey, my ultimate goal weight has been 109 pounds. I think I made a mistake in my first video and said like 107 pounds. And that was just, you know, out of nervousness because, you know, these are my first videos. But um, it's always been 109 pounds um, since day number one. And there's nothing special about 109 pounds. I just chose that number because that's basically what I weighed for 15 or 16 years before I started struggling with my weight. And so that was just a familiar number. But it may be the case that, you know, these days that my body is doesn't want to go to 109 pounds. It may be happy where it is right now. And so um, I'm just, you know, I'm going to still continue to do what I do. And if, you know, by doing that, um, I get to 109 pounds and that's great. But if, you know, um, by continuing to exercise and I'm um, fasting a bit um, and eating a little bit more because I'm going to need to eat a little bit more. If I'm not able to get to 109 pounds, I'm going to be fine with that as well because um, I'm just, you know, really starting to learn that there isn't really special about any of these numbers at all. And there's not even anything special about, you know, 20,000 steps. The reason why I chose to walk 20,000 steps a day is because I did that um, in 2021. Um, at the beginning of the year, I walked 20,000 steps a day for over 90 days. And I felt really amazing. I felt like good emotionally and spiritually and mentally and physically. And so I'm trying to get back to those good feelings. And so that's why I chose, you know, the 20,000 steps a day to um, walk every day this year. And so I just kind of like wanted to say, you know, all of these like numbers that we have set out to achieve, they're just, you know, kind of like a form of measurement. Um, and it's just easy to, you know, tell if we've, you know, reached a goal to have like, you know, certain numbers to get to. But um, we don't need to be obsessed with getting to like a magical number. Um, we just need to kind of like take our cues from our body and listen to what our body's saying. And it may be that, you know, um, as I get further along in my exercise journey that I might get to a point where my body does not want to do 20,000 steps a day. And so I just have to listen to it. And um, if I'm not able to do it, um, to not feel guilty about that. And, um, you know, don't hesitate to, um, you know, um, end a fast early if um, you are not feeling great, but um, and don't feel guilty about it because um, you know, like I said earlier, there's nothing you know special about the 72 hour fast. It's just easy to measure, and so that's basically what these numbers are, just you know forms of measurement. And so um, we need to, you know, do a lot better with listening to our body and kind of like get away from, you know, being obsessed with, you know, um, these certain numbers. And so um, this definitely applies to me because, you know, I was obsessed with getting to the 72 hour mark all of last year. I had to get to that 
72 hour mark. And you know, um, I thought that this year was going to be all about the rolling 48s for me, but, um, that's, I don't think they, they, these are not working for me. So I'm going to have to adjust. And so we just need to be flexible and adjust and listen to our body and just kind of like know that, like I said, there is no magical number to get to on a fasting and weight loss journey. We have to listen to our body and take our cues from our body and see what our body is telling us. And so that's today's video. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.